Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going to be doing a kind of bit of a P.O. Box opening, so let's get started. Okay guys, so we have four packages here. So we have one that I ordered from the Funko Shop, um, which I'm pretty excited about. Then we have, ooh, I dropped it. Then we have two, pa or two packages that were from you guys, uh, some of you guys out there. We've got two of them. They've been here for a little while, and I found them, so... Uh, yeah, we're going to be opening those up. And then lastly, we have... Okay, guys, so this is a box that I have been pretty excited about getting. It is the biggest Funko Pop I've ever received. This is something that's not even released yet. I'm going to give you guys a hint. It's 24 inches tall. This thing is huge. Okay, guys, so we're going to be starting with... I think we'll start with this package here, um, which came in from a fan. Does it say on here? It just says the Brent family. Um, but I don't know what's actually in here, so let's just get right into it. Also, um, I forgot that it was April Fool's today, so I want to let you guys know that uh, happy April Fool's, but uh, this is just going to be a normal P.O. Box video, because this year I actually forgot. I know. Sorry, guys. Um, but let's get into this, guys, see what we got here. I'm pretty excited about this one. Oh! Hmm! Okay, let's see what we got here. So, let's see if there's a letter before I get into it. I don't think I see one, but let's just move this out of the way to see if there is a letter. Um, so here is this. Okay, there's a letter. Let me read it. This is where the fun begins. Okay. It says... Dear Top Pops, you may remember me from the time I gave you my hula minion. Well, I will give you... I will... Well, I will give you, um... A Rico Penguin Pop and a Mystery Mini and a Mystery Pop. Whenever I'm bro... Uh, whenever I'm bored most of the time... When I'm bored, I watch your videos. I get so excited when you um, when you unbox my box. I got so excited when you unbox my box. I hope you liked what I gave you. P.S. If you like the back of this, it it uh, if you like the back of this, I gave you um, any more boxes. I will do that. No. Oh, I, P.S. I hope you like the back of this. If I give you any more boxes, I will do that. Uh, so ooh, this is neat. Okay, guys, so this is like a poster. I remember Funko did this a long time ago of just a bunch of really cool um, old pops that had come out. Um, so that's really awesome. Thank you so much. Did I get a name on this? It just said the Brent family. So sorry about that if I didn't get your name. Um, but yeah, very cool set of pops. I actually have a lot of these ones, and a lot of these are older, and uh, they are pretty much all retired now. Um, but very cool. Oh, it's your name's Matt. Check out my two channels at Parker Gaming 101 and Matt Brent. Um, so I'm guessing your name's Matt. Um, but anyways, let's get into these here. So the one pop that we've got in here already is Rico. Um, so let me show you guys this one. Here is Rico right here. Very cool figure. Um, so this is one of those ones from uh, Penguins of Madagascar, which is a really cool movie. I remember watching this one when it came out. It's a really great figure. I like Rico a lot. Um, I actually have Skipper around here somewhere, the cheese dibble Skipper, um, which is really cool. And you guys can see there they put the cheese dibbles all over it. Um, which is really cool. So thank you so much for this, Matt. Now, what else did you say? You said there was a mystery mini in here. Okay, go, cool. So there's a pin. There's a Spider-Man pin. That's pretty neat. There it is right there. As well as a mystery mini. This one is Shock or lo it's Lock, Shock, or Barrel. I don't remember which one it is. I believe it's Lock or Shock. I'm not sure exactly. But anyways, very cool. Thank you so much for this. And then here it is. Ooh, this is cool. So this is Bill Cipher from Gravity Falls. Um, this is like one of those little mini figures. Not Funko related, if you guys are wondering. Um, but this is one of those little ones that come in a dome, actually. I recently got Naruto um, in a Aki Bento box. So that's really cool that we have two of these now. One from Gravity Falls and one from Naruto. Now, let's check out what Matt sent inside of this sorter box here. Okay, here we go. Oh, I covered it. I can't see what it is. Hey, this is pretty neat. What the? This is cool. This is Manolo from the Book of Life. I remember when this pop came out. I never did pick this one up. This is such an awesome figure. Matt, thank you so much for this. Look at that, guys. So this is the Book of Life Manolo. Um, I remember my friend Ian, he actually collected this entire set, and he has the Glow in the Dark exclusive Hot Topic one, um, which is a really expensive one and really hard to get, so that's really awesome that he's got that, so Ian, congratulations on that one. Um, but Manolo is such a cool figure. It's one of my favorites, actually, from this set. I remember watching this movie. It was a pretty good movie, actually. I liked it. Um, but right there, guys, there he is. Super awesome one. Matt, thank you so much for the awesome stuff. 
Okay guys, so for the next package, let's open the one that I got here, which is one from the Funko shop. Um, this is one that I'm pretty excited about getting actually, because this is one uh, that I think I remember buying. I'm not exactly sure. If, if it is what I think it is, this is the one that's not a pop, but it came from the Funko shop. So let me see. Let me see if I'm correct on this one. I think I am. I gotta get into this here. All right, guys, so it's a box inside of a box. So let's take this one out here and see what we got. I'm not even gonna look at the packing label um, because, yeah, this is what I thought it was. Okay, guys, so this, this is a really cool one. And so far, guys, it's a box inside of a box. So their Funko is shipping in this one great so far. And I'm guessing if the outside box took a beating, this one wouldn't. So let's see what we got. There we go. They ship, whoa. Okay, guys, so let me show you what it is. It's Presto. Um, the vinyl figure, but look at that. It's shipped in a box inside of a box, and then they even put like this protector box on the outside of this. Let me show you what this looks like here. Let's see what this looks like. What the heck? Funko, nice shipping. Hey, this is pretty cool. Okay, guys, so here it is right here. This is the Presto one. Now, they, they probably shipped it like that because of the bottom part, because it is kind of flimsy. But if you guys look inside of the hat, you guys can see that there is Presto the rabbit, or no, his name's Alakazam the rabbit from the short Presto. Um, I wish I could get into this without having to uh, break it, but I don't know how I would do it. It's, it's too complicated, I think. Let me see if I can undo the tape on the top. It's too nice to open up, honestly. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna do it now. Maybe I'll show it off on Instagram if I can get into this nicely. But uh, yeah, very cool figure. Super excited about getting this one. You guys can see him in there. Uh, there's Alakazam in there. He's the bunny anyway. So there it is right there. Very cool figure. Um, yeah, Funko, thank you so much for this awesome shipping. I knew you'd have to ship it nicely because of this bottom part. I wish they made it a little bit thicker to make it more like a real top hat. Um, but from like this way or whatever, it looks like a real one. So pretty awesome. Anyways, uh, let's get on to the next package. All right, guys, this next package is one that I got in from Darren, who has sent over a bunch of stuff in the mail. So let's just get right into this one here. Um, this is one of those ones that Darren always likes to send over some really cool stuff. One time he sent over Garbage Pail Kids. Um, another time I think he sent over Pez, some really cool pops as well. Um, so let's just get right into this. Let's just jump into it and see what we got here, guys. Okay, so let's check this guy out here. Let's see what we got. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. So, so far, guys, first, right off the bat, I see this. Giant Pez. This is a giant Iron Man Pez which is really cool. If you guys don't know, I've seen these big Pez before, but what they do is they don't hold Pez, as in the little ones, full rows of Pez inside of here, which is really awesome. Um, so Darren, thank you so much for this awesome Pez. We'll have to try this one out sometime. That thing is huge. Now, let's see what else we've got. We've got a t-shirt. Looks like a, what is, what is this? Let's check this out. <laughs> hold on. That's funny. Okay, guys, so this t-shirt, is a dog with sunglasses on. Look at that, that's funny. I like that one a lot. I like how the colors match the Iron Man as well, the uh, the little yellow in the middle. Really cool shirt. Thank you so much for this, Darren. Now let's see what else we've got in here. We've got, ooh, here's a keychain. Now this is, I'm not exactly sure who this is even, um, but this is a cool keychain. Looks to be like a, one of those DC figures, I'm guessing. Or it could be like Venom, de Venomized. Venomized Ghost Rider, maybe? I'm not sure. Well, let's check this out here, see what we got. There's a bunch of stuff. Aha, uh -huh. here's the letter. I probably should have read this first. Darren, sorry about that. Um, let's see what we got going on here. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, guys, so it says, Top Pops, good day from sunny San Diego. Figure this pop might be uh, sold only at comic book stores and you might not stop by one that much. So picked up one, so I picked one up for you. Keep up the great work. A fan, Darren, D's Room, YouTube is his YouTube channel. And there's some art that he did on this side, which is really neat. It looks like one of it. He does like caricatures and stuff like that. And uh, this is one uh, that he drew of uh, superhero flying. So that's really neat. Darren, thank you so much for this. Really awesome. Now, he also sent over a pop. He had messaged me about this a long time ago, saying that he was sending over a pop. And uh, here it is right here, guys. I think I remember what it is, but let's open this up. You guys ready? I don't see it. Oh, hey, hey, this is cool. Okay guys, so he sent over the Batman Who Laughs Pop. Um, he had messaged me about this, I remember a long time ago, to see um, if I wanted it, and I was like, yeah, of course. Um, so here is the previous exclusive Batman Who Laughs 
uh, Funko Pop. Really awesome. Darren, again, thank you so much for this awesome package. Three really awesome things, and then the t-shirt is great as well. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for this, Darren. It's going to be great in the collection. Okay, guys, so let's get into this last package here, which is going to be really heavy, so I'm going to have to figure out how to get this up and over. Um, if you guys don't know what this is, let me go through this here. So, I... And the first one to get this figure, I'm trying to explain it without spoiling it too much. Um, I am the first one to get this figure. <laughs> and this is something that is exclusive to the channel as of right now. Um, and we're going to be showing this off right now. This is such a big box. I'm going to let's raise the camera up a bit, guys, so I can show it off a bit better. Hold on. All right, guys. Okay, so this right here is the box. I raised up the camera a slight bit, but this is the 24-inch Funko Pop. So if you guys don't remember, on Instagram a long time ago, I teased it with one of the ones. Um, that was one that I wasn't allowed to keep, but I, I do have a photo of it here. They, uh, they came by and they let me hold it for a picture, um, and then I had to give it back after. But there's the photo right there, if you guys want to check it out. So this is it right here. So this is the one of the first ever 24 inch Funko Pops. Let's just get right into this guys because I'm super excited about showing it off. Um, and this is something that I've been excited about and I could not talk about for about, oh, I don't know, maybe a, I wanna say like six months now. I mean, this is the perfect day to show it off because we're doing a PO box opening and I thought it'd be fun. I thought I would wait and tease you guys till the very end um, because this is pretty exciting. But let's see what I can do here. Okay guys, here we go. This is exciting. Let me get into this. There's a lot of tape on this, gosh. Okay, here we go. Okay, guys, here we go. Oh, more tape. Okay, so, lots of bubble wrap. Lots of bubble wrap. Okay, so we... <laughs> okay, guys, you ready for this? Here is the 24-inch Funko Pop. April Fool's! You just got pranked! Okay, guys, well, that's pretty much it for my April Fool's joke this year. A lot of you guys went crazy when I posted it on Instagram. And uh, here it is right here, guys. This is the 24-inch Gemini Collectibles exclusive Huckleberry Hound. That's the size of it right there. It's a normal size pop. So, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys had a great April Fool's. And this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching.